Okay guys, we are looking at Kong and we're going to give this a spacey score and what a table this is. One of the new releases at the time of filming and it just looks sensational. I know I have talked about in cabinet mode like just seeing the, the table you know come up all at once but actually this is still very nice to check out the whole table in detail lots of nice little animation effects on the bumpers and it does give it a little bit of a, a vibe um, with uh, old Kong here on the side it's a, and, the, and the mountains a little bit white water but it doesn't play like Williams white water at all it does give me that little bit of vibe I love the Kong I love this dramatic music that's going on here and this effect here with the with Kong's eyes and stuff guys so let's get into it let's see how this plays in a cabinet setup Get up the, up the middle there. Janking it. Three hits to start. Normally multiple, three more hits to start Kong Frenzy. Way ya. Uh, Okay, and you can see guys, I've got the speech down a little bit. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. In terms of overall sound, I just like the speech down a bit on these tables. Whew. Still, still hear the, the call outs. With a bit more emphasis on the physics and table sounds, that's how I like it. One more hit to just start multi ball, and I missed it. Righty -o. Three more loops for Temple Jackpot. Free fall award. Now, destroy the inner. In the drones before they can upload the data, hit the drones in the lane behind them. That's a lot to read. <laughs> that is a lot to read. Oh crap, no, I was actually looking up there. Alright, I'll turn that down just slightly. Right, look at the, the skill shot here. The ball to the upper flipper, then hit the flashing lane for a skill shot. So... That's not the upper flipper. straight down the side although I don't, I don't mind that right like that's you know gone of the sort of floaty flip uh, physics sort of fx2 fx3 all right I think we can we can give that a, another go we're gonna give that another go this is Ecosystem 
empty and got a number of modes to start through those centre shots. There's one more to start the main mode, here we go. Now the Warbat attack, we, or we can, oh, we can select the one we want, right? Um, I don't want the one that's upside down, first of all, the gravity inversion. <laughs> Let's go for recharge. Oh, oh here I am shaking the, the table with those hudge. And hang on, let me see. We've got to shoot the flashing lanes to find the spot to charge the battle axe, avoid gorilla's heat ray. And we've got a certain number of hits, so we've got to avoid that as we do this. And again, quite a bit, oh crap guys, quite a bit to read on that DMV. I guess once you know, you know, right? That's the other part of it. Catch the ball, you can still read what's going on there. Buckle up for the ride. Let's go. <laughs> Luckily, ball saved. That happens on uh, my real life Williams tables a lot, and that does too. So again, I'm not salty when I lose the ball. I like the challenge, but we're not doing too well in this game, guys. to make that shot get this mode start again so let's try look we'll do the gravity inversion so you can see how crazy this is <laughs> so flippers are reversed and uh, you're upside down and it's quite it's quite a challenge guys <laughs> quite a challenge it's uh very unique feature. Oh, feels so weird. Yeah, and even more so in cabinet mode. No, no real table is going to be able to do this, right? You normally go down to a lower, lower play field that's upside down. Sort of get used to the reverse flippers. Hey, we're gonna kick out. Ah. Oh, flick round when I was right on the flipper there. Into this, into this main mode starting here, he says as he misses the third one. Go 
in that orbit. Hey! There we go. Start again. Uh, follow Kong. Let's do follow Kong. I'll take the share of common impulse to return to the revolutionary source. It seems Again, I was looking. I was looking. Looking up reading. nudging the table guys out of habit we're falling behind okay 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 okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait 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 follow the monkey eight, eight more hits to reach the temple of Kong and I, that's through these flashing ones I can make those shots Yep, one. Now I see it moving over to the left there, onto the three in the centre. I haven't once managed to nudge on the buttons. Okay, well. <laughs> Not great scores there, guys, but at the end of the day, and we'll just kick that back in. At the end of the day, this is about playing the game, having fun, you know, and trying for scores, sure. But you know, learning the tables as well. I'm not I'm not the sort of guy that goes through and does reads all the rules. I like to just play it and you know, there's some good instruction on the DMD. Some of it's a little bit long. Uh, but again, it's one of those things. Once you sort of know, once you read it once, then you're away and laughing. You start working out what you need to do. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all about the overarching fun for me. But we have a number of things that we need to view in terms of a spacey score. So let's rate those now. So first up is theme. And, you know, again, this, this is more from the perspective of how, uh, how good a particular theme is, how it translates into a pinball world. Not so much about the theme, if I like Kong or not, but does it translate well? And I think this one is pretty high, right? Um, just the, the overall feel of it, just the mu everything sort of comes together, you really feel like you're in a sort of a Kong universe, so... So this is pretty good. Um, I'd give it a eight. Atmosphere. I think definitely this has had some really nice atmosphere with the theme music as sort of subtly drives in the background. Some real cracking uh, shots and you know, lighting effects. And you know, so again, this is one of those ones where all the parts come together um, and graphically it's it's really nice even the sound effects now with the music is really really cool so again good atmosphere on this table really feel like i'm i'm in there battling kong so uh i think we'll go with a, a steady eight in there as well with the layout and the realism could this be a real t pimple table does it play like a real pimple table? It certainly does play like a real pimple table. I think the overarching layout, you know, some of these lower bumpers and stuff are very um, reminiscent of some Williams tables um, with all the ramps going through, you know, potentially some plastic mountains and whatnot at the top. I think this is one of those ones that could very well be um, a real table. Obviously, you'd lose some of the animation effects. So, again, uh, pretty high. Um, probably could be extended a little bit you know it's a little bit on the shorter side with all the stuff going on the top so i reckon about a seven for the layout realism all right moving on to table artwork now the artwork is 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 really nice some of these insert pieces of art here are really nicely done the whole look feel colors are nice um 
I not I mean there's a huge part of it here it's just quite nice on around the edges there too on the on the on the blades um, the mountains are, are good and stuff but the main play field you know is it really overall punchy and stuff if you saw this on a real pinball machine I think it's good but I don't think it's fantastic so I would give this uh, a 6 out of 10 it's, it's certainly not bad but I think there's other tables that are pretty spectacular when it comes to artwork animations well animations is quite sparse in this table um, with Kong there and you've got the asteroids running around um, I don't think there's uh, anything amazing going on when it comes to animations in this particular table for at least what I've seen so far I'll give it a 6 graphical effects um, look pretty sparse like if I, if I just think about coming off playing that I didn't feel like I saw a huge amount of amazing you know special effects there uh, so I think I'd err on bringing that down probably to about a 5 lighting now, lighting on this table I've got it fairly you know it's fairly moody at the moment I always like my tables a little darker it's where I have my gamma set I think about 1.8 and um, the lighting on this is actually pretty nice it's not flat that's the worst thing you can have is when the lighting is really flat so we've got a lot of depth uh, again we're not using ray tracing here guys and um, this is just a 1080p so we're not getting some of that extra extra effects when it comes to lighting but I like it you know it's a bit of shine off that and um, there's differences in, in, in light it, it's not perfect though and some of the shadows and stuff could be better so hmm, I think a seven I mean it doesn't not amazing but it's still still good the DMD DMD was good um, uh, again love this with all the the new graphics uh, that really punches up the DMD score did have to read a little bit on some of the instructions maybe some of those instructions could be a little bit shorter a little bit more brevity uh, but other than that I think it you know helped with the game helped tell me what I needed to do probably could have had a few more graphical elements in there that are a little bit more flashy and bits and pieces uh, but I think I'd give that a sort of solid seven. Music. Music in this table is really, really nice. One thing that Zen does with a lot of their music is they sort of continue it. And if you play like a Williams table, you'll get a bit of music and then you'll, you know, you'll hit something and things change and it goes to other parts. I mean, it's like it sort of moves around quite a lot. Whereas Zen seems to just flo you know, keep the music flowing, which gives it a more cinematic feel across their tables, guys. But... Um, Sometimes that sort of gets away from the, the sort of pinball like start this and then it changes, start that and everything changes. So there's not a lot of that going on. But the main theme is very cinematic, very appropriate. Um, kudos uh, for, the, for the people that put the, the theme music together because it's, it's very nice and very professional. I think I'll give the music a nine because I really do like it, really do like it. Next thing, sound effects. Sound effects on this table, punchy, appropriate, um, they feel right. I, there was never anything in the sound effects side of things where it's like, oh, what's that? That sounds weird. Uh, again, I think very, very good. Um, nothing sort of really amazing though in there, but just but it allows you to just play the table without thinking something's you know, off. So I think that's a good solid eight on this table. Uh, call outs um, now they were down a little bit so um, I, I could hear them but I must admit I wasn't paying too much attention to them uh, I don't think they that they distract I think maybe in some of the future ones we might bump them up a little um, but look I'll give them a sturdy six out of ten um, you know it's really hard to get really good call outs and we'll, we'll really be seeing that I think as we go through a lot of the tables but yeah, six out of 10 for that. We go to now flow. Flow of this table is, is nice. The shots all feel good. Like once I started playing this, I really felt like I was again, and you know, especially in cabinet mode here, felt like I was getting really into playing a game of pinball. Um, you know, super nice through the ramps, the orbits, the shots through the middle. You know, I, 
I clunked a few of those shots in the middle, but that's purely my fault. These these are huge. <laughs> Could start the modes pretty pretty well with that left hand uh, tunnel shot there. So yeah, flow was good. I liked it. Uh, I think I'd give it a nice solid eight. Shot interest. Um, yeah, I think it's nice. I think with this flipper on the side here, it, it's nice. It's, there's plenty to do. You do tend to sort of drill up through the middle there quite a lot. Um, but it's not like I've got, didn't get bored with it. So I think there was enough to do. And obviously as the mode's kicking in and they're, you know, showing you where to shoot and stuff, um, I think that was all pretty interesting. So yeah, I'd give it um, probably... Hmm, I think I'd give that a, a good 8 as well actually, I was erring on a 7 but I think an 8 is appropriate, um, decent shots. Now challenge, well challenge you can see that I <laughs> was a bit of a challenge for me, um, but uh, I like it, I like the challenge, I like how how it feels sort of, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult enough so that you can come back to it again and again. Uh, I, know, I know a number of you guys might be thinking it's too, you know, it's easy if you're a really established player, but I think for anyone who just wants to kick in and play some, some tables, this is a nice one to play. You don't feel like you're really robbed uh, at all. Um, the balls that I lost there uh, seem to be mostly my fault um, and not any fault of, you know, some weird layout in the table or something weird going on. Um, I don't know if I had, I think I had one drain off the bottom bumper which is something that I do want to track across these tables but yeah other than that uh, I think the challenge actually is really good in this table I'll give it a good solid eight physics feel uh, felt nice um, maybe a little a little light if you if you could say that um, you know yeah there was probably just a little little less weight to it uh, but it was it was nice. It had a, a solid feel. Again, nothing outrageously wrong with the feel of the table. Again, I'd give that I'd give that a good solid eight uh, for the way that the physics are. And notwithstanding that they are a little different from different tables, and still I think a bit different from the Williams physics. I don't know they've transferred them across, but I'm not sure how well they've transferred with all the surfaces and all the rest of it and the nuances of that. But yeah. Fun, fun factor, overall fun factor, I think is 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 really cool. You know, it's got a, it's, it, the theme is sort of fairly deep and dark. Um, so as a fun table, um, as opposed to a sort of challenging table, uh, yeah, it's fun. I wouldn't, you know, go. It's like fun cranking time. It's more fun challenge and getting into it. So I think the fun factor is probably on about the seven scale give it a seven and replayability um, for me this is pretty high I think I'd come back to this table I know I will come back to this table uh, again and play it uh, so replay this one in particular guys is actually and, and obviously it's subjective it's just my opinion uh, but I feel like um, yeah, this has got, with everything else, everything else is pretty high, in fact, in terms of the rating, so it's no surprise that replayability is right up there. I'd give it an 8. And lastly, the Spacey's X Factor. Has this got the X Factor, something a bit different, something you can sort of go, cool, you know? Um, you know, the table reversal thing is a bit of an X Factor. It shits me, mind you. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know. Uh, it's a few times now I've, I've, I've done it, and in fact, this time around, actually, I enjoyed it more than the first time that it happened. Um, so yeah, it's got a bit of an X factor, uh, you know, in terms of an amazing table, it's not huge. My X factor ratings will really, it's really a bit of a, a bonus add, guys, so it's more in the lower end from 0 to 10. I'd be a very special table to get anywhere near a 10 in terms of an X factor, so I'm going to keep it low. And, uh, and just on the basis of the table rotating around is probably the key thing there. And then um, it's just a bit of a general feel that this table was overall pretty awesome from a Spacey's perspective. So another couple of points, I'll give it a three. All right, guys. Okay, well, that's it. That's the total score for Kong. And guys, uh, subscribe if you want to see me go through all the other tables and rank them as we go in a similar format. 
enjoy any of your comments that you may leave below so please do uh, leave some and I will read them and attempt to reply when I can uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one ciao for now